Hey everybody, Ralph Payments here. And this morning, I have a very unique plan of action that I think you guys might like, plan of attack, plan of action. And, you know, it's, um, I think it's about 20 degrees or so, 25 degrees outside, 25 degrees Fahrenheit, and snowing in Bellingham by the bay, which is a little unusual, but we've been doing that the last few years, a little bit in the winter. And Jen and Baden are gonna spend the day outside and also inside the state capitol um, in Olympia. And they're with our good friends and um, lots of people that we love and doing some big work. And if you haven't heard the news of what happened in New Jersey, um, I recommend going to thehighwire.com and taking a look. They're the only news outlet really covering it, even though there's been thousands of people marching and chanting and um, occupying the state capitol area for over a week. Um, and if you haven't heard of it, there's a reason why you haven't heard of it. It's not on the regular news, you know? Um, they've, it's been said that um, the revolution will not be televised unless it's on the highwire.com. <laughs> That's um, kind of funny, but, um, but I've got a plan. So Ben and I stayed back because we were gonna send Ben to school today I think school is still going on. If it isn't, we just might head on down. But um, although our car has a front wheel drive and not all wheel drive in the snowstorm. But, um, but anyway, we, um, we wanted to keep him here for school and also for his running group, which got canceled today. So because um, of the snow, but I've got a plan. And it's been something that I've been using for a while that has remarkable results in the physical world that you can try if you like. It's not for the faint of heart. It, um, it takes away something from you that um, is really held strongly, and um, that's our desire to make certain people wrong, to make certain people wrong, to judge people, even our desire to um, let go of judgment and to forgive people, because to forgive people implies that they did something wrong. And that sounds incredible, because it sure seems like a lot of people have done something wrong in history, you know, Hitler. Um, and now the pharmaceutical industry, with the way they're trying to um, ram down vaccines down every kid's body and um, against the will of parents and all sorts of things. And, and so there's a lot of stuff that you can go, that's just wrong. And Jen and our friends are down there um, to fight the good fight and to talk to legislatures and um, to stop them from this insanity of um, going against the Nuremberg Code and doing procedures and and medical things against people's will like they did in Nazi Germany. And um, it's incredible that we're in times like this, but, um, but here's what I'm gonna do. And you might try it if you're, um, no matter what side you're on, you might try it. It's kind of an interesting um, thing. And the cool thing is when you do it, you might see other changes in your world that you didn't even think you were working on, positive changes. I've seen it in um, the areas of abundance frankly, uh, money. And um, so when people let go of some of these things that they're long held cherished beliefs to make people wrong, something magical happens, but it's not for the faint of heart. And, and you got to actually do it. You can't like pretend to do it or um, do it with some sort of reservations inside. And so, so the idea, I'll just cut straight to the chase, is to be grateful for the so-called bad guys. And not to be grateful to try to change them. Not to, to be grateful to like come from a loftier place that you're better than them, but to be truly grateful for them. Now there's some stuff that happens when you do this Now stuff can come up, like you know you might have some angst in there in your body if you really try to go to be grateful for these people. You know Stanley Plotkin, uh, Richard Pan, Paul Offit, all these people that we in the vaccine safety awareness movement that we look at and go, why are they doing that? They seem to be so evil. What are they doing? But um, but if we can take each of those people and look at them in our awareness and think, I am truly grateful 
for that person, for that person being on this earth. Now what comes up is, could be some resistance, right? Some angst, some, well, that's not right. And, um, and the funny thing is, if you could go inside and, and notice that, and truly let it go, you know, maybe let it go. It's been said in matrix energetics, the only technique is trust. So there's an interesting thing that happens in these videos that I do and the Facebook lives. You can have a change even from the chair you're sitting in, but would you know it? So what you might do is notice what's different after watching this video. It seems incredible, seems crazy, seems like, what are you talking about? But you might notice, take a look. And, um, and then if you want to, if, it, if you want to give this a try, you can think about all the people that you're in resistance to. All the people you think are wrong, maybe they're rightfully wrong, right? You know, it's like, it's they're wrong. And make a decision in this moment to be so grateful for them. And to then see what's in you that needs to be cleared. There's a way to do this. And that's what a lot of my work is about. Not all of it, but that's a big part of it. Because when people can do this, big changes happen in all parts of their life. And so that's my plan of attack, my plan of action, my plan of what I'm going to be doing here. I don't know. If, I don't think we're going to be driving down to Olympia, but, um, but Jen is down there. It's snowing pretty hard here. And um, wish us luck. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. Let's get out there and live. Let's really live.